In the midst of the raging World War II in 1943, the German armored forces were already facing a severe fuel supply shortage. Although it was not to the extent that all armored forces were immobilized, it was foreseeable that this situation would only worsen. Germany began developing new power sources, and tanks powered by a gas fuel similar to mixed noodles were gradually developed. Gasoline engines and gas engines have a similar history. The reason why they did not become the mainstream power source for vehicles is mainly because gas engines have lower power output compared to diesel engines or gasoline engines. In addition, the production and storage of gas is not as convenient as fuel. In order for vehicles to meet their travel needs, they need to carry a large gas tank. This inconvenience can be seen from the large gas bag on top of gas trucks in our country at that time. Fortunately, another invention had already matured at that time, which was the gas generator. This device, which produces gas by burning coal, allowed vehicles to move with the generator, which was much more convenient than carrying a huge gas tank. This structure had already been widely used in civilian vehicles, and similar cars were also developed during China's resistance against Japan. Germany began developing gas generators in 1938, but at that time, there was no direct demand, so the development work proceeded in an orderly manner. In 1943, gas generators were used in tanks. Due to insufficient power, the lighter weight tanks, such as the Ps I, Ps II, and LT, Vs in 38, were the first to be modified. They were respectively named PY, Ps II, and LT, Vs in 38. These tanks were in limited quantity and served in the German defense forces. In addition to being used for armored training, the PZY type was also disguised as an M4 tank for urban combat training in 1945, allowing young soldiers to quickly master the use of iron fists. In addition, some gas tanks were also used in actual combat, serving in secondary units for maintaining public order. The Passy II that served in Denmark was once captured by guerrillas. All three tanks mentioned above had gas generators. This was a tall, cylindrical structure that produced gas by burning firewood. The generated gas was collected and stored in individual storage tanks for use during tank travel and could also be operated simultaneously. However, this huge gas generator structure was very fragile and could be damaged by light weapons. It was impossible to use it on the front lines of the battlefield. In order to meet the needs of actual combat, Germany began a new design, which was to replace the gas generator and storage tank with liquefied gas tanks carried on the tanks, which was relatively more convenient. The modification and testing involved tanks such as the Panzer IV medium tank, Panther medium tank, Tiger heavy tank, Jagd Panzer 38T, tank destroyer, and half-track vehicles. Among them, the Tiger tank powered by propane-butane mixture had five vehicles. These vehicles were not successful because they were too heavy. One Tiger tank was equivalent to several PZI tanks. Although the tanks were powered by burning propane butane, there was still a significant difference in engine power output, and the storage capacity of the liquefied gas tanks was also limited, limiting the distance the tanks could travel. The real problem was the gas tanks themselves. Unlike gasoline fuel tanks that can be made in different shapes according to the situation, gas tanks cannot be accommodated inside tanks. Most of the tanks modified by Germany used a rear-mounted design, and the tank destroyer Jagd Panzer 38T directly placed the gas tank on the face. Although this arrangement satisfied the basic mobility of the tanks, the gas tanks themselves were a huge hazard especially for equipment like tanks that fought for their lives under enemy fire. Regardless of how thick the tank armor was, once the gas tank was hit, it would either lose its mobility or be engulfed in a large fire. This would result in the tank losing the protection it should have and contradicting the original intention of tank design. Although the use of gas or liquefied gas had many problems, Germany continued its related research work until surrender. The reason behind this was the severe shortage of resources in Germany during the war, with limited sources of petroleum but an abundance of coal in the Ruhr area. 
Therefore, conducting research around reliable resources such as coal was a necessary move. 